Welcome to the California Immunization Registry training video, Adding New Immunizations. This video will highlight the following training objectives. Entering a new immunization using the CARE Inventory module, and entering a new immunization without using the CARE Inventory module. There are several methods of adding new immunization records into CARE. To enter immunization records directly from the patient's History Recommend page, Press the Add New IMS button located in the middle of the screen. On the top of the Enter New Immunization page, you will find the Patient Information section, which provides relevant demographic information related to the current patient. In the next section, you will find the current immunization record for the patient. In this first example, we will be entering a Hib immunization using the CARE Inventory module. To enter from the CARE Inventory module, please make sure the checkbox next to the From CARE Inventory is checked. This function of CARE allows my organization to enter lot numbers, trade names, and expiration dates in advance of completing immunization data entry. Therefore, entering new immunizations is both faster and more organized. To begin, make sure that the date administered is entered correctly. It will default to today's date, or you can enter the date the immunization was administered in the full month, day, year format, or click on the calendar icon to select the appropriate date. The administered by field will list the names of clinicians for your organization. If you have different clinicians administering shots during the same visit, you can also enter that the shot level below. Note, this field will have pre-populated choices. For questions related to the drop-down list, please contact the CARE Help Desk. Be aware that each vaccine dose in the Enter New Immunization section will default to having the checkbox Under Remove check. However, as each immunization is entered, the check mark under Remove will automatically disappear. Immunization. Select the immunization from the drop down field. This will uncheck the Remove box. And since we're using the Care Inventory module, the selection will be limited to the vaccine inventory entered for my organization. Vaccine eligibility. Select the appropriate vaccine eligibility for this patient's immunization. The vaccine eligibility drop-down will display according to organization type. This is a required field. Trade name, lot number, funding source, expiration date. This drop-down box is pre-filled based on what has been entered into care inventory for your organization, filtered by immunization and funding source. This is a required field. Select the appropriate vaccine trade name, lot number, funding source, and expiration date for the immunization administered. Body site. Select the appropriate body site where the immunization was administered. This is a required field. Route. Select the appropriate route for the immunization. This may be defaulted for you. Dose. Select the appropriate dose for the immunization. The dose will default to full. New patient comments. If applicable, select the appropriate comments from the drop-down list. Add an applies to date by using the full month, day, year format. Or use the pop-up calendar icon to the right of the field. Click the add button to add the patient comment to the record. At the bottom of the page, default VIS dates will be displayed for each new immunization entered. To add the new immunization record, click the Save button. After saving the new immunization record, CARE will return you back to the Patient's History Recommend page. Notice the new HIB record appears in the Patient's Immunization Records section of the page.
The second example will cover entering a new combination vaccine immunization record not using the care inventory module. We will also utilize the add selected method of navigating to the enter new immunization page. Select. This box allows users to manually check vaccines that were administered and need to be entered into care. The check mark selection will display on the enter new immunizations page. In this example, a Pediarix immunization was administered on 9-24-2016. For combination vaccines with a known trade name, only one component needs to be selected. For Pediarix, I have selected DTaP. Click on the Add Selected button to navigate to the Enter New Immunizations page. The DTaP vaccine group will carry over to the next page. For this example, my organization is not using the Care Inventory module. The From Care Inventory checkbox is not checked. Date administered will be defaulted to today's date. If you need to update, enter the date administered in the month, day, year format or by clicking the calendar icon to select the date. The Administered by field will list the names of clinicians for your organization. If you have different clinicians administering shots during the same visit, you can also enter at the shot level below. Note, the field will have pre-populated choices. For questions related to the drop-down list, please contact the Care Help Desk. Remove. Select the Remove box when removing an immunization. Select the appropriate vaccine eligibility for this patient's immunization. The vaccine eligibility drop-down will display according to your organization type. Select the appropriate trade name for the immunization given. Remember, for this example, we are entering the combination vaccine Pediarix. Since this is a combination vaccine with a known trade name, we only have to enter one component of the vaccine. Next, you will enter the lot number for the vaccine. You will then enter the appropriate body site, route, and dose for the immunization. Click the Save button to enter the immunization record into CARE. CARE will now return you back to the Patient's Immunization Recommend page. Notice how the Pediarix combination vaccines populated the DTAB, Hep B, and Polio components. Helpful Reminders There are two methods for entering new immunizations into CARE. Using the Care Inventory module will allow you to enter immunizations using your organization's pre-populated inventory data. Remember to complete all required fields. For additional care support, reference the Care User Manual located under the Forms tab on the Care Login page at the URL listed on the screen, or you can contact the Care Help Desk by phone at 800-578-7889 or email carehelpdesk at cdph.ca.gov.